reference managers are very important uh, tool in order to make your research or research paper or thesis or reports more organized in terms of citation. But I just want to pinpoint, okay, uh, before I start the you know uh, session, uh, mainly it's not only for the reference manager, okay, it's more than that, okay. Uh, you can use Mendeley for organizing your literatures, okay, especially your articles in your own library. And also you can do a lot of snowballing, snowballing techniques to find out your research papers. I think most of the most problem, okay, the most significant problem is finding or looking for the right article for your research because research is justification okay you have to justify what you are writing okay that's why you know we are putting a lot of references okay so if you write a thesis or paper without any citation that is not research paper that is newspaper okay so that's a different very simple newspaper no citation research paper definitely you will have a citation so that's the thing okay, so this uh, this session will be very useful for all of graduates, MBA, MBM, DBA, PhD, D management, all can use this session and they will use it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, let me introduce uh, uh, Mendeley. Okay. I have a, a share of slides. Okay. Okay. This is my official uh, slide. This is not my first training. I think this is my, <laughs> uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe more than 30 or 40. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Okay. This is a learning principle. Okay. Uh, it's a principle, uh, evergreen principle okay, from Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, uh, I think uh, Saha have introduced a long <laughs> biography. I can skip this one. Okay, uh, actually Mendeley was introduced 2008, okay and this one not from any company the mandalay was introduced by german phd students it's not from company actually okay uh, the phd student two phd student uh, no three phd student and based in london they introduced mandalay 2008 the first beta version was introduced but after that 2013 it was took over by or bought over by lcv lcv means corpus Okay, Elsevier is a company, publishing company. Okay, Scopus is one of the product of Elsevier, which is for the indexing. Okay, Scopus indexing. Okay, that's why, you know, uh, if you look at the uh, Mendeley, I don't know how many of you use uh, Mendeley for a long time. I use Mendeley since 2012. Okay, before that, I use EndNote. EndNote is still very useful, but not friendly as Mendeley. That's why you know I switch to Mendeley. Sometimes I use EndNote because EndNote there are some features are very good as well uh, compared to Mendeley. Okay, uh, this is just uh, you know introduction only. So I just want to uh, tell about <clears throat> Mendeley. Mendeley there are three versions: web-based, mobile, and also desktop. Okay, Mendeley desktop. You can use Mendeley in your uh, handphone. In your computer in your tablet okay however when you want to write paper you need to use Mendeley desktop it means you have to install on your machine computer then only you can cite okay okay i think that's it about Mendeley. let me straight away go to the Mendeley uh, practical section First, okay, it's going to be like this, Mendeley. You will have icon, something like this. 
And today I'm going to show to you my actual Mendeley account. And also I will use training account for better understanding. Okay. How it looks like. Okay. Okay. This is my full library. Okay. I'm using Mendeley since 2012. Okay. And I have a 3,453 documents in my Mendeley. Okay. So I keep every, everything here and with the folders. Okay. Based on my articles, based on my uh, research and also my PhD. Okay, so I will put in folder. So I will go one by one uh, after this. This is the actual uh, interface of the Mendeley. Unfortunately, there are a lot of useful function in Mendeley. Before this, I think since uh, until last year, December. However, some of the function of the Mendeley has been uh, eliminated from the Mendeley desktop and shifted to Mendeley web okay uh, i will tell about that one uh, in the session okay i think uh, almost the end of the session i will tell uh, some of the useful function of the Mendeley desktop and also Mendeley web okay okay first those who have not yet installed Mendeley go here install Mendeley first mendeley.com Okay, this one is already registered one. Okay, I sign out. So you will see something like this. Okay. And Mendeley is not only reference manager. Actually, Mendeley is an academic search engine. We have to remove the some uh, bit about the Mendeley. Mendeley is not only for the reference management or reference manager or citation tool it's beyond that now mendeley is a academic search engine okay for example if let's say you want to search for the article let's say smart retailing you want to search you can search the article and this database linked to the scopus you will get the same result with the scopus.com but what are the differences okay the difference is you can analyze lot in the mendeley.com but if you go to scopus.com you can analyze the individual search okay so that's why you know uh, mendeley is not only a reference manager but today i will focus on reference manager and also literature search in mendeley okay uh before that uh if you want to ask any question in the middle of the session uh i think this is a event I don't know whether participants are allowed to ask questions. So does have? They can they can write in the chat box on the Facebook and I will uh, let you know. But oh. I have one question that I think that might be interested for from from uh, many and so uh, Dr. Mati means that the Mendeley is uh, related uh, and connected to uh, Scopus, right? Yeah, All yeah. the data related to we can uh, searching the articles can be joined to the Scopus database. Yes. Okay. Is it as comprehensive as uh, Scopus or same or uh, some uh, those that have referenced in Mendeley they can find it? Okay. It's it is comprehensive in terms of number of articles. Whatever you are looking, I mean, whatever you see in the Scopus, you can see in the Mendeley.com, which is such article. Yes. But in terms of comprehensiveness, Scopus.com search engine is more comprehensive because you can analyze the result. Okay. I think uh, I'm not going to touch about the Scopus.com analyze the result because that is another session, another training that I'm doing. 
how you can optimize the usage of the scopus.com but i will touch a bit but mainly it is academic search engine you okay. can uh, search a lot of articles and also you can create a mendeley profile like uh, you know research kit profile you can create a mendeley profile as well okay okay so any questions in the chat box i will uh, let you know time by time okay thank you um first you have to download this one okay download for windows if you are using mac you can use mendeley reference manager mac os okay mac os and also you can use in the linux system i think very rare people are using linux system but i use the linux <laughs> okay um you can use and i found one problem okay i found one problem when you install mendeley desktop in your mac okay um the latest version of the mendeley unable to recognize the file of the mendeley and it will indicate some errors so you can watch my youtube to solve that problem this is a link i can share with you how to solve the problem in mendeley i mean a mac okay you go to my channel so this is a video so so when you install in your mac i think some of you are using a mac machine a bit there so you will face this problem mentally unable to sync with mac okay mac microsoft word so you can watch this video and you can solve the problem okay so i have a video tutorial on this you can go to my youtube channel okay so step by step so i can share this one in uh chat box okay okay if you want to follow further you can subscribe my channel so i have a lot of uh, videos tutorial on mendeley website design and so on okay thank you um back to this one so just click download and install as usual so after install you will see something like this this is the icon of mendeley okay just click mendeley desktop and if you have not registered an account you have to register first you go here register okay click register and it will direct to elsevier don't be surprised why i'm you know it's redirect re, uh, redirecting to the elsevier as i told you before mendeley bought over by elsevier elsevier is a publishing company okay like endnote is a thomson reuters web of science okay thomson reuters okay i don't want to use so if you want to register you have to register new account okay so like myself so i have an account so i will directly will log in okay so then you can register so i don't want to register because i already registered an account okay so you can sign in with the different account then just proceed okay okay so i just keep this one so once registered your account will be activated dr yes. mati yeah one question if i register it on my desktop do i use the same thing for my other devices as well uh -huh. yes sure definitely you will use the same account because mendeley is a cloud based reference manager oh it's great great thanks uh, it's a cloud okay that's the beauty of the mendeley not like endnote endnote is a stand alone mm. it's not a cloud i think so until now um i think the latest version is a cloud based if i'm not mistaken okay, okay. let me stop sharing for a while
ओके okay. Sure. <clears throat> so you have to key in your registered account email ID and also the password. Um, maybe you will have a question. Do I need to use a UUM email address? No need. You can use your Gmail as well. Okay, it's not a big. Uh, it's not a big issue. Okay. You put your okay. Just key in your password over here, and make sure stay signed in. Otherwise, you will, you know, every time you have to key in your email ID and also the password. Yes. Stay signing. Okay, so when, uh, Dr. Mati, when we download it, it is coming as an app in our desktop, right? In here. Okay. And then, okay. Just install. Just next, 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 next. Yeah. Okay. Except Mac. Mac, big problem. Then you have to watch my YouTube to solve your problem. Today I'm using a Windows. I don't want to use my Mac computer. Okay. Just close this one. For the first time, just close. Don't just, this is a, just a tour. Okay. Close. And now it's empty. Okay. It's empty library. Nothing inside. Mendeley desktop. Okay, in the Mendeley desktop, nothing included, nothing exported, nothing imported, nothing uploaded. Okay. Okay. So you, you can see your name over here. Okay. Okay. First, okay, once installed, let me introduce all the regions. This empty space called as space for the library. Whatever article that you are going to import here will be pop up here. Pop up mean will be uh, placed over here. Mendeley is like your own digital library. Before this, I think uh, I think last ten years ago, uh, without using EndNote or Mendeley, those who are using a very very manual way, they will keep their files in the folder. After ten days, they forgot where they place the article they keep on looking for the article in the you know in the computer mostly it's apple but when you organize your article in your mendeley it's not going to be a problem because you can look back your article through search okay here is a search when you create your own library you can create a search and you just type and search uh, maybe you have a hundred article no problem you can scroll like myself I kept around 3,500 materials. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit problematic. Okay. Okay. So Mendeley is a cloud base. Once you activated your account, okay, you will get Mendeley desktop. In the meantime, you will have a Mendeley in, okay, in the web. Okay, Mendeley web. So for this one, you have to sign in. The same account. So I have to use sign with the different account. Okay, wait. I sign in. Okay. Now this is actually your Mendeley desktop and Mendeley web. It's the same thing. Okay. Whatever you upload here, it will be here. It's mean not here in your library. You have to click the library. This button is to search literature. It's mean articles. Okay. Why I'm uh, <clears throat> pinpointing as a literature? Because 
when you search you're not you're not uh, you're not going to see only the journals you will see conference paper journals book series chapter in book and so on so all type of literature you can search over here okay and this is a library So now it's empty because my Mendeley desktop also empty. When I add some files over here, my Mendeley library will be synced with this Mendeley web and I can see the same file in the Mendeley desktop over here. Okay, I can see here. That's why, I'm, uh, that's why we call it as a cloud storage. It's like a Dropbox. And let's say you're using a two computer. One computer is a Mac, another computer is a Windows. You can use the same Mendeley account, okay? And you can use the same library. When you log in in the Mac computer and when you log in in the Windows computer, you are going to see the same thing because it's a cloud storage. Cloud means centralized database. The data from one place, not from multiple sources. That is cloud storage, like a Dropbox, okay? Okay, so this is your library. Now is everything is empty. Nothing. Okay. Okay. So now we go one by one tools. Okay. And maybe you have a question. Uh, what about the storage of the cloud? Okay. Cloud storage. If you register, you have, if you have registered one account, okay, one account, eh? it's been one email ID, you will get two GB space. 2 GB mean, eh? I think more or less you can keep around 2,500 journals. In your Mendeley, don't keep your video, audio. Only keep the documents. Okay, only keep the document. And also, you don't keep your thesis. Okay, you don't keep your thesis. I will tell why you should not keep your thesis right up in your Mendeley. Okay. Do not keep. Okay. So like my case, my account 10 GB space because I'm a Mendeley advisor. So they give me a privilege. So my account 10 GB. If you want to get uh, 10 GB, you can apply for the academic advisor. Academic, uh, sorry, Mendeley advisor. Mendeley advisor means Mendeley trainer. Okay. So I go back to Mendeley. Any question you can ask? Or oh, am I moving very fast? If I yes, we fast? have uh, we have uh, one question from uh, Aymin Nasir. He asked that he uh, in the chat box. If you see that he asked from you, doctor, that he has uh, downloaded. He have used Mendeley before, and uh, he, all files are dot ris. Okay. And now he is going to change his laptop, and he don't know. He doesn't know oh, that if uh, he, in these files will be saved, or he's worried uh, if I. Uh, he said, "I'm worried if I lost them. Maybe I, uh, <clears throat> I will not be able to use bibliography of my old thesis. Please guide me." Okay. Is there any idea for that? I mean, uh, I mean, I see. I have used Mendeley throughout in my thesis. When I, when we cite any references through Mendeley, there are some files generated in fo download folder, named as RIS files. I have thousands of files that are in download folder. Now my laptop required to reinstall the window. Do I need to save those files? I'm worried if I lost them, might be I will be not able to bibliography of my old thesis. Okay, RIS is a uh, another format. Okay. Um, actually, you can use import function over here. Okay. This one. Okay. When you import your RIS file into Mendeley, okay. But most of the time, when you import the research information system RIS file into your Mendeley, then your Mendeley is a cloud storage. Your bibliography information will be forever unless you delete all of this. Okay, but the RIS file is without the PDF file. It's only the information, bibliography information. So you can import and you can keep in your library. 
it will be forever unless you delete. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Okay, I think he just got his answer. Okay. Okay, so I will go one by one, all of that. Okay, if time allow me to cover everything. <laughs> okay, first, once you install, so you will see something like this. Okay. Last time, there are so many buttons over here. But all of these buttons has been removed or eliminated by the software developer and switched to, uh, or not switched, shifted to Mendeley Web. Okay, um, do not, this is a warning, do not play with this button, reset Mendeley desktop, don't reset, okay, this is very important, eh? okay, this one, let's say, you worry about your storage, what you can do, you can create a backup file, let's say you have around 1000 files in your Mendeley, you want to create a backup, you can create a backup here. Okay, it will be backup in zip file. I think I can answer. This one will be very helpful to the Amin, Amin Nazir. Okay, you can do this one also. Create a backup. So once you create a backup, you keep the backup. After you format your computer or whatever is it, you can restore back. But for Mendeley, you don't need to do this one because Mendeley will keep everything in the cloud storage. Once you install fresh your software, it will be downloaded automatically. Everything that you have kept. Okay. Do we really need to use Mendeley Desktop or web is enough? Oh, okay. As I mentioned, uh, Mendeley Desktop, okay, it's a full function to cite your article. Mendeley web is just to view whatever you keep and also to search the article. Okay. Mendeley desktop to cite. You cannot cite your paper, okay, by using Mendeley web. Okay. So this thing, tools. Okay. After you install, make sure, okay, your one going to be like this. Three different functions. This one, install web importer, install MS Word plugin Microsoft, and get Mendeley site. You can install three of these, okay, all of these. But the most important is MS Word plugin. Once you install this one, you can see the plugin in your Microsoft Word. Okay, first I click this one. To install this one, switch off your Microsoft Word. Close your Microsoft application, especially Word. You close. Then only you can install. So my citation plugin has been installed. Okay, now I open my Microsoft Word. Okay, so once I install, then I will go to, it's not going to be like EndNote, huh? EndNote you will see something like this. Okay, a stand alone function. But for Mendeley, you don't need to click like something like this, you have to click references. So when you click references, uh, you will see the region. This is a Mendeley region. Not many button, only this one. Okay. If you don't see, it means you have to enable. Okay. If you don't see this function, so what do you do? You go to file, option. This is only for the Microsoft Word. Eh? Okay. For the Mac, you have to watch my YouTube. Okay. You go to add in and you see here whether you're mentally in the inactive application okay or in the disabled application if in the disabled application you have to enable it i i can't show this one because everything is okay for example what you can do disable okay items go Okay, uh, there is no disable item. If let's say your Mendeley has been disabled, you will see Mendeley over here. You tick and enable. Okay. For example, it's going to be like this. Okay.
Okay, um, I can't show this one. I don't want to create a problem because this is you cannot simply play this one. Otherwise, it will create a lot of problem. Just look at the disable items, go and just enable it. That's it. Very simple. Okay. If you are facing, but 99%, you are not going to face any problem when you add the plugin. Okay. Okay, I switch off a switch okay of this one. And second is install web importer. Okay. Before I install web importer, I go to get Mendeley site. Get Mendeley site is, is another button in your Microsoft Word. Quick button. Okay, you click this one, it will go to the office. This is office plugin, and this application will not function in the old version of the Microsoft Word. It should be latest one. 365 2019 or the latest one okay otherwise it won't function if let's say you're using office 2000 okay do not dream about this one it's own function okay so once you click this one get it now this is add in this is not a plugin huh? add in function get it now and it will ask you to log in your email id and everything my one is already there so it will directly go here. Okay, then I will open in a word. But this is not very important. The most important is this function. Install MS Word plugin. Okay. These are this is just additional function. Okay, just an additional function. Okay. So the beauty of Mendeley site is this one. You click references, you will see Mendeley site over here. When you click, it will automatically log in here. If not yet log in, you just sign in. Still will go here also. Okay. So, okay, now there is no article over here. That's why, you know, I don't see anything. Otherwise, I can see all the articles here. Go to Mendeley Web Library, okay, then I can see, okay, this one, okay. Just leave it as it is, okay. The third function is Web Importer. Web Importer means when you go to the website, you read some articles, you know, for example, especially in the Science Direct Google Scholar. Okay, you can click this one and install and you can directly import from the website. Okay, for example, okay. the step by step, okay, install web importer. This is extension. Okay, this is an extension. Okay, for Chrome extension, you click this one. I remove first, then only you can see the steps. Okay. Again, eh? tools, web importer. I go to get web importer for Chrome. Then you click add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay. When you close this one, it will disappear, you know. So how to enable it? Very simple. You go to button jigsaw puzzle button okay then you enable it okay enable it. okay so the function of this one is let's say you go to google scholar you search for the article let's say you search for the article uh, let's say cloud kitchen Okay, I search article on Cloud Kitchen, so I can click this one. Okay, so first I have to sign in. All you have to sign in because when you sign in, your account will be integrated. Mendeley Web, Mendeley Desktop, everything will be integrated. Okay. Okay. 
sometimes this function is not stable okay not stable but it's very useful as well so dr Matthew, one question that might be interesting for also they have also questions mendeley web is for uh, using importing the citations and it will be sit onto mendeley uh, desktop right it's not importing citation it's importing documents importing documents yeah it will be so once you import from here you can see over here as well because it's sync Okay. Yeah, sync automatically sit here. Pardon? Yeah, automatically. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you go to Mendeley uh, here. You upload the file. Let's say you want to upload file, add new file over here. Okay. Then you go to Mendeley desktop, you will see the file. If let's say you upload the file in the Mendeley desktop, then you go here, you will see the file as well. But before that, you have to sync. This is one of the button as sync. Sync means you have to synchronize everything with the other functions. Okay, let me go to here. Okay. Just one uh, thing to all participants that our session will be recorded and it uh, we, and you can later uh, find the recorded session in our Facebook. Or your GSP Facebook. Okay. Okay, you look at this one. This is without PDF. This one with PDF, okay? Okay, I click this one, click this one, and without PDF, with PDF, I add to Mendeley, okay? I add to Mendeley, it's adding. Okay, this is how you collect your uh, literatures, okay? But I just put, as it is, I did not view the file. Uh, just put, okay, adding the files. Okay, so it will detect all the references in the page. It's still adding. You see, everything here. In my mentally web that's now empty right now you see it's keep on uploading okay loading and it's it has been updated let me sync you see i just import from here and you realize or not there are some without pdf am i right it's not here because without PDF, whatever it's a with PDF. Okay, what does it mean? View PDF with PDF. Okay, view PDF. It means this article is an open access article. Open access article, you don't need to pay. It means you can directly download. So now you see here, I can click, I just can read. Okay, this is the beauty of the web, mentally web importer. This function you can use in the Science Direct, Emerald, and most of the databases. Okay. Close this one. Okay. Still adding, yeah? Still adding. No mind, I just leave it like that. Okay. So once I add in the Mendeley Web Importer, it has been updated here. That is called as centralized database. Cloud storage. Centralized. Everything in one place, okay, which you don't see, but you will get all the files. Okay. So now you see my library with these documents. Okay. I will show to you some magic as well to download the article. Okay. Okay. I think it's very clear about this one plugin. Now we go to this one. To create a library, you need to import your whatever downloaded article into the Library, digital library. I, I call it this one as a digital library. It means you keep everything here. Okay. First, okay, tool, okay, ready. Okay, another one. Check for duplicate, I will come back. Options, okay. This is one of the important functions as well, but very rare, you know, people are using this one. Okay, people use it. 
uh, these functions. Okay. Correction is you just ignore it. Um, if you know the proxy, okay, you can use this one, but very rare we are using this one. And also Zotero. Anyone using Zotero? Zotero is another reference manager. If you are using Zotero, okay, you can connect your Zeta, Zotero to this one. Okay, like myself, I already connected. Okay. Once I click connect, it will go to Zotero. Sorry. Sometimes, you know, when you use Nagli, suddenly it will crash and close automatically. No, but very rare. But don't worry, your file will be there. It's not going to be crash your file. Okay. Option Zotero, you can connect. I connect. That's why, you know, you switch off. And also, you can import, you know. It means whatever files in your Zotero, okay, Zotero is like this. It's a research assistant and also the reference manager. Okay. It's free also. You can use up to 300 MB, but I don't uh, do any trading, okay, about Zotero. Okay, very rare I use this one. Okay. Okay, and Bibtex. Uh, let's say you have a Bibtex, you can import as well. Bibtex is another uh, file format for the reference. Okay. And also watch folder. Watch folder, I will come back again. File organizer. Okay, file organizer, I think it's not very important. And document detail. Okay. So you can customize your document, you know. Let's say you want, let's say journal. So what are the information? should be appear in your bibliography okay or we call it metadata okay okay this one is by default you know you cannot remove if you want to add more you can add doi better you add doi okay add doi the rest is up to you okay if you don't want pmid okay you can remove that okay do you know what is doi Every time you go to the article, it will show the DOI. DOI. DOI is a unique ID. Digital Object Identifier. Okay, Digital Object Identifier. That is DOI. Okay. Then I apply. Let's see. Okay, view this one is nothing. View is just uh, like, uh, you know, this is looks like a table format. If you want to see this one in the Citation format, you have to switch the switch to library as a citation. You will see something like citation. But most of the time I will put like this. Okay. Citation style, you can switch. In UM, we still use APA. Six. What is that? Why are you still using APA six, right? I think UM is APA six. Still APA six. Okay. But we have Currently, APA seven as well. Yeah, APA seven and APA six. Very, I think there are some significant differences. Yeah. For example, APA six, uh, up to five authors or four authors, it will show the name. You know, second time it will show the at all. But mm -hmm. for the APA seven, just three percent. You know, first time at already. Yeah, and then in in inside the document, I mean that inside the uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah, going to be right. Right. okay. So make sure most of your examiners are AP six examiners. Okay, so let's say your examiner comment about this one. Why don't you use uh, AP seven? You should use AP six. No problem. Just one button you can change from AP six to AP seven. That is called APA citation style. You can change immediately whatever style you want. And one more important thing eh? nowadays, you have to use EndNote or Mendeley or any reference manager. Most important one is Mendeley and EndNote because most of the top article publishers they ask you to create a reference library in your reference according to the Mendeley or EndNote software. Because the editors, they can change, you know, they can check everything. 
That's why, you know, if you go to Science Direct, okay, like this, most of the articles, okay, you go like this, the references, okay, Okay, uh, when you view in the okay in the PDF, it's not a clickable, but when you view in the HTML file, it's a clickable. You know, it means you can click because of the Mendeley or EndNote library. Okay, uh, they ask for them. Okay, I have an experience. You know, so when I submit article, they ask me to uh, format according to the EndNote, but I you know uh, I use Mendeley. They want EndNote file. It's okay. Very simple. I just import export, then I switch that one, and I just submit it. Okay. So no worries about that one. Dr. Mati means import export to EndNote format. You mean? Or no, actually, uh, from Mendeley, you can import the you know uh, EndNote file. Can you also explain uh, how we do do it? Uh, yeah. Maybe it is interested uh, interesting for participants as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Look at this one, okay? This one, okay? When you view your article in HTML file, it's clickable. When you click this one, it will go to this, okay? This uh, article, okay? Okay. Okay, and go and you can click, you know, it will pop up here. Cross reference, view record in Scopus, Google Scholar, and view in article. Okay, I think for this purpose, they are asking for the, you know, something very organized uh, references. Okay, so it's very easy for us. So if you click this one, it will view in Scopus. You see? And Scopus, definitely, you cannot download the article. Remember, Scopus, it's a just a database, bibliographic database. Okay, you can see the abstract and the title and so on, not the full article. Full article, you have to go to the specific database, like a size direct, Emerald, and so on. Okay. Okay, so view function, edit, nothing. Okay, I will come back, you know, I will explain afterwards. Okay. First, you have to create a library. Okay, to create a library, okay, you have to use these four functions. It means you have to add your file. Maybe you have downloaded some articles and you kept it in the folder. For example, you kept it here. Okay, I have a few articles in my folder. So you want to import that articles or that manuscripts or that thesis, whatever materials. Everything should be text materials. Yeah? Don't keep your video materials. Because when you keep your video materials, it will consume a lot of space. Okay. First, what you can do is add files. Okay, this is a very uh, traditional method. Okay. Then I go to citation material, then I add folder. Maybe I can add this folder. Sorry, this file open. Then this file added, has been added. Okay. Okay. What is this actually? Okay, Bentley, it's a full AI function. When you import one file, it will ask whether you want to all whether you want to import all the files in that folder. It means in this folder, I just click this one and import. But it will ask whether you want to import another six files. You see the would you like to import six other PDF files from this folder? Okay. If you want to import, you can import, otherwise, just no tags. So if you say no, no tags mean 
whatever file you have selected will be included okay otherwise what you can do is add file maybe you can select all or you can click shift press and hold your shift button you can choose one by one or you can click control you can choose individual files open so file has been added first function how to create a library second function is add folder add folder maybe you have a folder in your computer okay like myself i have one folder in my uh, desktop okay which is citation material so i can choose this folder conference i click okay everything in that folder will be important you see important second function okay third function is a uh, add entry manually i will teach this one watch folder this is a lazy method okay lazy method lazy method main quick method okay add entry manually add entry manually means maybe you read the textbook but that textbook not in the digital format so you have to include manually for example book okay let's say my name okay if your name is two names you just type two names mati one check another okay you just click okay like this i sorry not title eh? cut okay you see when i click it will automatically jaganathan madivanan because normally you know the many asians problem is your last name will be cited as a you know will be cited in your uh, citation according to jaganathan but it is supposed to be according to madivanan but it is a asian problem if let's say you have a three names like uh, let's say lah okay ali uh, muhammad ali let's say muhammad ali Jamal Ali, okay. So this one, the problem, you know, because computer cannot recognize. You see, sorry. Okay. So in order, sometimes recognize. If let's say it doesn't recognize, better you put the comma over here. Better. Okay. You see, that's the thing. Okay. Never mind. Uh, most of the time we don't use the add entry manually. It will be automatically. Okay. I just click save. I just key in all the information. I click save. It will be pop up here. Okay. So I think now very clear how to import. Is there any question? Mm. I have after I have installed Mendeley, then I click register. It directly go to Elsevier. Yes. After I have entered my email to continue, it only have a function to sign in. Where I can sign up my Mendeley account. Okay. Let me answer this question. Uh... We have also one question in uh, Facebook, our Facebook, uh, Dr. Mati. Uh, someone asked when importing uh, documents, the title may not fit Mendeley's formatting. The title would we be able to edit our storage tailored to Mendeley's format? Means that he wants to know that can we edit the storage of the okay? I think uh, this question is a bit. <laughs> yeah doesn't you know it's quite complicated okay yeah, but exactly. i can capture the essence of the question uh you can edit 
sometimes you know when you import some articles or some manuscript into Mendeley, it does not show the title as supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, yes, I can, think he wants to tell this one. Yeah, yeah. You can edit. No problem. I will go to that uh, function after this. Okay, you can edit it. That one we call it bibliographic data editing. Okay, bibliography data editing. Or, or we call it metadata. Okay. And go, to, go back to North Attica. This question is okay. When you go, you go uh, in the, you know, sign in function, you can see sign with the different account. Then you have to register. Okay, I can show to you. Uh, Okay, when you go to here, sign in. Okay, let me move out first, log out. Okay, when you click sign in, have you registered an account? Okay. If you have registered an account, you can you know, directly go here. Okay. If not, okay, you have to register an account first. Okay. Um, I think I can come back to that question uh, in the end of the session. Otherwise, it will consume my time <laughs> because it's a uh, you know step by step. Okay. It's very straightforward. It looks like you know similar to how do you register your email ID. Okay. Okay. Mm. If you forgot the password, you just click forgot the password. Okay. Okay. Okay, watch folder. Okay, the beauty of the watch folder is, okay, let me tell the function of the watch folder. Watch folder means every time you download the file, you don't need to do like an add file or add folder. What you can do is you can automate the process of adding files. Automate means when you download the files in particular, okay, in the particular folder, the files will be automatically included in this library. Okay. Okay. Step by step, eh? this one. You create one folder. Okay. Uh, maybe you can put uh, my latest articles. Then what you do after you create a folder, okay, this folder, when you download the article, you have to keep the article in this folder in order to automatically add it into this library. Okay, first you go to watch folder. You have to look for the folder that you have created. Okay, so I have created it in the desktop. So my latest article, just tick apply. Okay, so it's mean your Mendeley and your folder has been synced. Whatever article that or any manuscript you download over here, okay, in this folder, it will be included. Okay, let us let me try one. Okay, I go to Science Direct. Okay, I go to social commerce. There is one question. Okay, how to add in an on citation style for AP6 edition? My M Mendeley app just view AP 7th edition only. Okay, never mind. Okay, I will answer this question. Please remind Dr. Zaha. Okay, I don't want to disturb the flow of the training. Okay, 
later i will come back to that one okay 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 so this is the file okay let's say i download this one okay breaking the uncertainty barrier in social commerce the relevance of seller and customer base signal let's say i download now i download i should download in the folder that i have created which i link to the watch folder okay so i go to my latest article i click save you see once i download and keep that article the article already here blue color latest one once you update it will be blue color you know it's been latest one okay after that it will disappear so you see breaking the uncertainty barrier breaking the uncertainty barrier so this is how you can save you a lot of time you don't need to add one by one let's say i go to another article this one i click the impact of social capital save in the same folder that i have linked to the watch folder The impact of social capital, social interaction. So it's already here. Okay. And also it will be in the my library. But it's you see why it's not appear here. The problem is you have to sync. Okay, when you sync a synchronized file uploading, it will upload in the internet. Okay. And when you sync, your internet should be very uh, strong, not very strong, moderate. Okay, it should be moderate, like a 10 Mbps or 20 Mbps. Okay, now you see here. See, it has been synced. There are so many files. Okay, for example, this file, right? The impact of social capital. Is it here? Definitely will be here. Uh, this one. You see? The impact of social capital, social interaction. That is called sync, cloud storage. Mendeley web, Mendeley desktop, everywhere. Let's say you, you install in your tablet, you will see the same thing. Okay. okay. So that is mainly function of the watch folder. Can mainly read from OneDrive. What do you mean by read from OneDrive? I don't get this. Can mainly read from OneDrive. Oh, it means you keep in your OneDrive. Then you want to import from OneDrive. Okay. Can. Uh, Mohammad Sarofi, are you asking this question whether you can uh, import the folder from OneDrive, whatever article in the OneDrive, directly imported to your Mendeley? Okay, then let me show to you. Okay, let's say this is one of the my folder. Okay. Okay, this is my OneDrive. I have one folder like this. Okay, my folder name is Watch Folder. Okay, okay. sorry. Okay, just assume uh, this is my OneDrive. I have one folder. Name is watch folder. Okay. Name is watch folder in my OneDrive. Can I connect? Of course, can. Okay. What I do is what I'm going to do. Again, I have to click and link that to my uh, my watch folder. Okay. I have to go. This is my OneDrive. 
this is my folder watch folder i apply so tan kong sin this article actually in the one drive as well see this article in the watch folder Okay, wait. Mm. So this is the this is the solution. Okay, uh, why my Mendeley desktop have all articles and already sync, but Mendeley Reference Manager Cloud uses Microsoft Edge still not listed. Same article. Okay, first you check whether you use the same email address that you are using here and. Email address that you are using in the Mendeley web, same or not? Sometimes you know you're using a different email ID. It won't sync. Okay. First, second is you have to click sync. This one. Then only it will sync to the internet. Okay. Try and see. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dr. Matri, I think uh, this is uh, might be a question of many of the participants. How we can, uh, I mean, that import this, uh, I mean, that citations to the Word document, and how uh, should be the referencing will be, I mean, that sit into the Word document. If they are writing, how they can use uh, the Mendeley in the Word? Okay. Um, mentally, you have to know step step by step. Then only the final stage is how to create a citation. I can directly go and teach how to do citation in the Mendeley. Uh, sorry, in the Word by using Mendeley. Within 15 minutes, I can wrap up the session. <laughs> but before that, you have to know the rules. Okay, so that's why you know I go one by one. In the end of the session, almost uh, half an hour, I will tell you how to cite. The references in the Microsoft Word. So now we have to know how to create a library, how to make it perfect. Because when you make a mistake in your Mendeley desktop, like a wrong reference name, it will lead the problem to the Microsoft uh, Word reference people uh, reference how to say here yeah? reference list. Okay, reference list. That's why you know I go step by step because I have seen one student. Huh? Uh, blame the Mendeley because of his mistake. He, he has used, I think, he used Mendeley or this, uh, EndNote, something like that. And when the examiner asked why your lot of citations, references are not properly cited, the answer is, oh, I'm using Mendeley, it should be correct. So that is not my problem. Actually, Mendeley, it is cited like that. Actually, it's not a Mendeley problem. It's a user problem. Mentally never make a mistake unless you make an error. Okay, make an error in the Mendeley. So in order to reduce the error of citation, you have to go step by step. Okay, I will go in the end of the session. Okay. So now we have done all of this. Okay. So once you create, put all of the, you know, all of your files. Okay. See, okay. Wait there. Let me. Okay. Okay. So once you have done, okay, first thing is you have to check needs review. Needs review means sometimes, okay, this is the first one, one of the question by Saha, I think. Okay, there is one participant asking about this question. Okay. Wait there.
Okay, it's uploading. So just wait for a while. Okay. Okay, so if you notice when you import the files, okay, your files, when you click the files like this, okay, when your file with PDF, you can open like this and you can read your file over here, okay, and make sure, okay, this information, okay, the title, the name electronic market are correct okay the informations are correct make sure very important if information are not correct it can cause a problem when you cite the article that's why you know sometimes you know when you put a lot of wrong information over here not you put actually it will be imported automatically here when you download the document mendeley will capture the information from the pdf Okay, but most of the document that you have downloaded from Science Direct, Emerald, no problem. It will be perfect like this, perfect. But when you download the thesis, it won't be perfect. So back to the question from Zaha, from one uh, participant, can we edit? You can edit. For example, okay, you can go here and you just edit like this. Whatever you want to edit, okay. Okay, for example, maybe the information is wrong. For example, like this. Okay, you can edit. Yeah, participant is in our face, but I think he uh, got his answer. Okay, so this is the thing. You can edit everything, but don't simply edit. Eh? Don't simply edit. For example, uh, you know, I have seen, you know, uh, the article is only 2000 article. I mean, uh, year 2000. Simply change, you know, 2020 to show it's his thesis or her thesis indicating the latest references. Don't play play, eh? examiner can recognize this one. Eh? The, when the moment they look at the article, sometimes they can capture. This article is a whole article. That's why it should be a correct information. So you can add. Okay. This is, you know. So I have to correct it accordingly. So 2004. Okay. So you can edit. Okay, most of the article that you have downloaded is correct, but sometimes it's not correct. Okay, what you do is when it's correct, no problem. When it is not correct, so what you do, you edit accordingly. And also you have to look at the needs review. Needs review mean document. These documents are. Not wrong, wrong documents. These documents data is not correct. It means, for example, uh, okay, this article. It's indicating the article. This is a conference paper, but actually, over here, it's indicating general article. So you have to click conference proceeding. Okay, and you have to change accordingly. You see, this is wrong. So you have to you have to change accordingly. Model based three D cloud map of open. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, so you have to edit it. Okay, pages. How many pages? Then you have to correct manually. So make sure your information over here is correct. Okay, this is called metadata. Okay, metadata. Once you correct it, you just click details are correct. Finish. Okay. I purposely import a lot of documents, you know. Okay. Because I want to show the needs review. But most of the articles that you import from the Science Direct, Scopus, sorry, uh, Science Direct, Emerald should be okay. 
nobody's okay okay that is another function you can use it's very very easy okay for example if let's say let's say this article okay let's say this article okay with wrong information for example there is no title there is no uh, okay information you don't need to edit manually what you do you just scroll and see whether this article contains doi or not if your article contains doi okay what you do you just click this one it will be updated automatically you see break color just click like this Oop. see just now i delete this one i delete everything yeah okay now data is not complete okay but if i go to doi this is the beauty of doi okay you click this one everything will be imported automatically you see see this is how you make sure your document information is correct and accurate not only correct accurate okay okay everything okay okay sometimes you know you are facing one problem okay uh, let me give you one tip sir eh? how to import document which you can download it means you have to pay uh, I think there's nothing wrong because I can reveal this one. Okay. For example, this document. Okay. Like this document. I can download this document. So what I do, I have one function. I can download. I think you know the site hub. Most of you are using site hub. Okay. To download the article. But when done, sometimes, you know, you will copy the URL and you paste in the sci hub and it will take a lot of time but now we have an extension for sci hub in the google chrome extension okay i will show to you would you like to learn this one okay i don't i'm not going to copy i'm not going to copy doi nothing okay i just click one button Yeah, my pop up function is disturbing me. Okay, the cardigan. So when I click, okay, you see, just one click, I can open. So you can install this plugin, you know. What is this? Eh? I think it's one of the bird, eh? pro, I think. Okay, this function. How to install this one? Very simple. You go to Google Chrome extension. This is additional lesson from Mendeley. Yeah? This is not a Mendeley session. Yeah? This is additional only. Okay. Google from extension. If you want to know this one detail, you can go to my YouTube. I have this uh, video how to do this one. Okay. You go to Google Chrome and just type Sci-Hub. Okay. And you install this one, Sci-Hub X now. Uh, once this function available in the Google Chrome, it means it's okay. You can use this one. Okay. Nothing wrong. Okay. Add to Chrome. Once add to Chrome, it will pop up like this when you close it will disappear so what you do is you click this one and you enable okay enable it will pop up here okay so now you go to here just click this button it will pop up automatically open okay 
So actually, um, this is one, one of the, you know, um, if you go to US, it's like unethical, okay? But since this button available in the Google Chrome, so I just let you know, that's it. Okay, up to you, how do you want to use? Okay. Okay, so most of the function has been covered, okay? Bibliography data should be correct. And you use these functions, needs review, okay? And also, you can click this one, eh? my publication, and also you can drag and drop all of your articles. And sometimes, you know, when you put your name, it will be automatically included here. This is called Mendeley profile. Okay, Mendeley profile. Okay. Okay, apart from this function, you can create a folder as well. Okay. To create a folder, you click this one, create a folder, and you can organize your article, for example, social commerce. So you want to place all the articles that are related to social commerce in one folder. Okay. You can drag the file and you can drop here. Or when you import, you can directly import here. Okay, for example, you can import like this as well. Okay, so what do you do? Sometimes, you know. You can drag and drop also from the folder to here also you can drag and drop. It's another function. Okay, you can drag and drop. Okay, so. When you drag the file in the folder, it's not going to be available only here. It's going to be available in the all documents. You see, Ramu Sangita, Pai Sun In. Okay, you see, it's available here. This is the master file or master folder or master uh, storage. And when you create a folder, you can move your file to the separate folder. However, your files remain here and it won't consume your data. For example, do GB space, right? It's, it won't consume your space because it's just a mirror. This is a mirror file. This is not a duplicate file. Eh? It's just a mirror file. It means one file, but appear in the two places. Okay, in the two places. Okay. Let's say you want to move this file, uh, social commerce. Let's say you want to move this file to this folder. You just click, drag and drop. Uh, okay. You want to create more folder also can. Okay, folder, cloud kitchen. Or you want to create a subfolder, social commerce, but you want subfolder, new folder, Social Commerce Malaysia. Or you want to create another folder, new folder, let's say USA. So it's going to be subfolder. So how do you want to organize? It's up to you. And you can drag and drop as many as you can. No problem. For example, one, two, three. Okay, I choose. You go to the folder, uh, it will create a line. It means the storage uh, point. Okay. You don't want in the USA, you want to go to Malaysia, you can go to Malaysia. You don't want, you go to social commerce. Or you want to go to cloud kitchen. Oh, it's here. You see? So that is how you arrange the file. This is the first page. Eh? So once your library complete, okay? Now your library completed, okay? Perfect. Even you can delete your files. Eh? If let's say you don't want all of these files. Eh? Okay. You don't want this file, this file, this file. You can click delete. Or you can delete this file. Delete documents. Okay. And it won't delete permanently. It will be in that trash. Read the document. So you can clear all of this. Empty trash.
Okay. So over here. And create group, I think um, you can explore this one. Create group mean if let's say myself, Dr. Sabaria, and uh, Dr. Saha doing one research. Okay, we can create a group like this. Okay, let's say FRGS grant. Okay. One group. So we can keep all the file in that group folder. So Dr. Saha, Dr. Sabaria, and myself will see the same file. But Dr. Saha will not see, okay, will not see file in the whole document. She only can see in the group folder or the group file. Okay. Okay. Let's say Dr. Dr. Saha, what's your email address? I will type. <laughs> so you can put okay. You can put by chapter by keywords, eh? Okay, that is one question. Okay. What is your email ID? Sahar.ivahdati. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I use my, my email. Huh? Let's say, just want to. Oh, okay. Huh? okay, let's say Zaha email is like this Zaha. Okay, let's say 12 at Gmail. Okay. So send invites. You can send invite. Okay. Let's say I want to send invite to. Uh, my email id okay send invite okay so i have to keep this i can keep my files over here in the grant folder so whoever invited can go to this folder and can they can see together all the uh, manuscript or articles and they can cite okay that's the thing Okay, mm, let's say I go to Gmail. Okay, you see, Mandalay group invitation request. Join this group. Okay. okay. So that's a beauty of a uh, group. Okay. Actually, there are so many functions over here, but uh, very limited time, so I can't go detail. So you can use this one. Okay. Apart from this, okay. Um, once you open your documents like this, you don't need to print actually. If you can read, just read like this you can highlight like this and you can annotate okay you can add note over here okay maybe you want to see uh, for introduction okay okay then next time you go you can get back this one okay or what you can do you can Put text for this document. Tag. Tag means so you know this document is very good for the introduction. So you can put tag for this one introduction. Intro. Okay. Okay. Intro. And you open another document. Okay. Let's say you open this document. You put an, another one. Intro also. Okay. So you are put. You are creating a tag for your documents. So what is the beauty of the tag? Okay. You see, there is a tag, right? Intro tag over here. When I click the tag, filter by my tag. Okay. When I click this one, intro, only these two documents will pop up. So when I click this one, this document, and another document will come up. So, oh, I highlight. So you can refer back this one. That is the beauty of that annotation tag and so on okay and also 
if you have a keywords like this let's say you have a thousand files in your mendeley a lot of files now i have a 361 documents 361 document so you want to search for the keywords maybe you want to see one by one very difficult so what you can do you can filter by keyword what keyword you want you want keyword e-commerce click e-commerce it mean only one document keywords with the e-commerce maybe information technology education so i can click in order to create a keyword i think this one is automatic but not all the document with the keywords eh? this one author keyword there is no keywords okay these are no keywords some with the keywords okay and also you can put the notes for this one let's say you want to put notes you can put notes over here use the highlight okay add note okay let's say problem statement or whatever you want to write depend on you uh how you how you how creative you are okay then okay so when you go to article this is a note taking technique okay you have a notes oh this article is for the problem statement which one you can click let's say you go here you create another note over here let's say uh lr let's say okay you will have a multiple notes over here you click this one it will go there you click this one it will go there that is the beauty of the mendeley so you can organize your reading and also organize your articles okay finally you will go for the reference okay now i move to reference okay this is the climax of the mendeley okay you can create a references citations okay the other functions you can refer okay and the most of the function i have covered okay so now we go to word let's say you have an article uh, sorry uh, you are you have a thesis okay or article okay so i just auto generate the contents yeah okay so i have a text like this so definitely you will create a citation okay you have to cite okay let's say you are creating a citation you just click okay like this you want to put citation what do you do first go here go to references insert citation go to mendeley okay go to mendeley now you want to cite okay for example you want to cite this article just click cite okay you see author no mind just leave it i will tell you why that's i uh, you know something wrong over here okay now that i go here i put another reference in citation go to mendeley oh the author okay now mind i go here i put another reference okay let's say suddenly i want to add more references over here so what I, what i do i click here i add more references insert citation go to mendeley okay i can click cite okay is it correct not correct because it should not be in this way oh i want to add more let's say i want to add more insert citation go to mendeley i want to add more files okay like this okay 
you can click multiple files eh? no problem you can click uh, either you click control or shift okay better control okay you click this one and this one if let's say you wrongly cite again the document that you have cited it won't be replaced you know it will be merged it means it will take only one time for example author right i already cite over here okay already cite over here if i want to cite again it won't take again okay you see here it will take when i do like this okay you see here author 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 on e e second time is author at all but this is wrong so what you do is you just highlight all of this better way easy way okay merge citation done so now perfect and your citation arrangement should be in the alphabetical order not year order okay this is sixth edition if i change to seventh edition it's going to be different you see author at all for the first time again okay, uh at already but sixth edition different so we can play around citation style okay but this one is wrong author is wrong am i right so you don't correct here what you do is you correct it here author okay this document wrong Huang chun he so i have to okay this is the correct one okay okay so i have changed here now what i need to do is i go here you don't click anything here just click refresh okay so now he moved here okay you see because he is a h is a k a b e it will be automatically updated that's why you know you have to make sure you insert the correct information correct article and ensure this is correct even this one also wrong international journal of innovation and applied studies okay see yeah i will update later so after i do this one what i will do i will go here and i will create a reference list i go here so to separate the reference and the text i will do like this yeah? i will do the break page next page So I will create a references. Then I click, go back to references. You have to go here and insert bibliography. Don't look for the reference. Where is the references? There is no such a term. Huh? Insert bibliography. Okay, but there is a difference between bibliography and the references. Whatever material that you have read but you did not include in the citation it's called as bibliography okay and also you include references but normally we will we will use the term references only it means whatever read sorry whatever read material and whatever cite material should be included okay click insert bibliography so your references already here okay but this one is wrong the moment you look at this one, I know already. Okay, if you're very uh, familiar with the APA, you know something wrong here. Okay, never mind. You don't correct here. What you do? You don't correct here also. Okay. You go here. This one is a thesis actually, Barnes. Okay. So if let's say there are so many documents, what do you do? You just search here. Then 
click this is okay beranda banners then actually publication you should put the industry address if i'm mistaken okay i'm not sure this one okay 222 pages okay just leave it like that okay okay now it's correct information in order to click don't look for the button where is the save button there is no save button in the mendeley okay so now i go i just update click ref refresh so now is okay okay retrieve from here that's it okay okay let's say i go to this article okay this article eh? let's say after you cite you realize there are so many mistakes in the references and also in the citation you don't correct here what you do is okay let's say it's going to be like this okay this article let's say i delete this one i delete the name okay so when you have wrong detail or no detail okay it's going to be like this now full right oh i didn't cite this one okay sorry let me cite this article first Let's say I cite this article. Okay. Okay, Barnes. Again, Barnes here. Yeah? Okay. I just want to show uh, how to edit. Okay. I go here, I refresh. Okay, sometimes you know you will you you can see there are some mistakes over here. So what do you do? You just change here. Okay, just change here, don't change in the word document. Okay, because when you change in the word document, you save and you open back, it will be wrong again because it will capture the data from the Mendeley desktop. Okay. That's a problem. Okay. Let me cite another one. Sometime, you know, we will cite something like this according to. Okay. When you cite according to, okay. Let's say I cite this article. Go to Mendeley and I cite this article. Cite. Okay. So this is wrong actually because according to should be outside. Okay. Either parental uh, in text citation or I think another one, eh? I forgot already their name. Okay. In text citation, another one, parentheses or something like that, the name. Okay. I forgot already. Okay. So what you do is, you can do two way one is you highlight the name you can drag and drop like this keep manual edit or what you can do is you copy and paste here then this one Okay, you copy and paste. Then you click this one. Okay, you click this one or highlight or click also can. Just click over here. Edit citation. Okay, sorry. Okay, edit citation. Click like this and suppress the author. 
Okay, suppress. To suppress mean remove. Okay, suppress the order. So it's going to be like this. Still, it's wrong actually. Okay, that's why you know you're supposed to know the manual way or of APA as well. When you cite at outside, it cannot be simple. It should be A and D. Okay. That's why you know most of the people they don't use according to many times. Only for the important thing they will use according to. And it should be one only here. Yeah? Don't put according to alarm 2005, Ali 2010, comma, 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 and 20 citations according to. Cannot. Okay. It's not wrong, but it's not uh, right way. Okay. So this is basically how you cite and how you populate the references. If let's say I want to add more references, when I add more references over here or citation, it will be updated automatically here. Okay. For example, into citation, go to Mendeley, and I want to cite this article and also cite this article. So maybe I can click cite. Okay, ah, this article, Abola, Abola, and Mora automatically included over here. You see, you don't need to every time insert bibliography. One, one time only. If you every time insert the bibliography, you will see multiple references. Okay, that's the thing. So basically, only this. And if you want to change the style, okay. Just go here, click, just change APA 7. Or you want to change to IEEE, you can change. You see, IEEE, all numbers. Just within one second, less than one second. I think five milliseconds, it, it will change. If let's say you want to change to nature, it will get change to nature. And there is one question, sir. I don't see American Psychological Association sixth edition in my citation. No worries. What you do? You go here, more styles, get more styles, you search. American. Ah. Then you choose this one. Maybe you will see so many styles, you know, American 6th edition Turkish with abstract, uh, you better use this one. Okay. 5th edition, 7th edition, everything. Okay. Just click. Like myself, it's already installed. If not installed, you have to click install. Okay. Install and it becomes installed. Okay. I use this type. Click. Okay. Done. That's it. So you can change whatever format you want, whatever style you want. Immediately you can change everything. Let's say you want to change to Vancouver or you want to change to other styles. Okay, Turkish, bracket. Okay, superscript, install. Okay, then you can use this style. That's the thing, okay? Okay, and you use the American style with the abstract, eh? it's going to be like this, you know. This is very good, you know, for quick reading of your article. In your references, you will straight away see the abstracts of all of your articles. You see, you can print and you can read. Quick reading. Okay, but normally this is not the right proper style. Eh? You have to use this one. Dr. Matt, for the uh, manually edited uh, according to the bibliography also uh, automatically will be inserted into the Word file after manually edited. You mean references? Yes, in the yeah, reference. Yeah. The moment you insert the reference, okay, the moment you insert the reference, automatically the reference will be included in this portion or we call it this region this is a reference region this is citation region yeah so 
we should uh, keep the, uh, put the bottom refresh as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, refresh. So basically, uh, the last portion, how to cite, is very simple. But before you cite the article, you must uh, go through the process one by one. Okay, properly keep your file, properly put the information about your articles, then only you cite. Otherwise, it will create a haywire or it will create a wrong document, wrong uh, reference list. Okay. Give me only two minutes. I will show to you one important thing, as I promised to you. Okay. Apart from reference manager, Mendeley can be used to search the literature. And also, you can use backtrack technique. Okay. Track back the articles. For example, if let's say you want to search article in mendeley.com, this is called, you know, called as academic search engine. Let's say you want to search social commerce. Okay, why I put this one? Apostrophe, okay, inverted comma. Because I want, this is a one term, right? So one term should be closed, okay, with the brackets. Uh, not bracket, uh, apostrophe, okay? Then, okay, you can sort out which is the most relevant and most cited article you can click okay this is a very famous so if let's say you did not include in your research social commerce this article big problem because this is the one of the article which highly cited okay 597 citation but in your research of social commerce you did not include uh, big question mark okay so most reason you can click and also you can filter out you want only journal you don't want conference book section gallery book you don't want you just click general it will filter okay and you want certain names you can open access open access means you don't need to pay you just easily download just click and download that is open access okay so apart from this you see once you click this article okay you will search the information, you can get full information, eh? it will search. You click get full text, it will go to full text. So once it's go, you know, move to full text, I will use this function to download the article. So once downloaded, I will put in my watch folder. Okay, my watch folder, which is uh, I think my latest article. Okay. So this one automatically will be in my Mendeley. How I organize the search and uh, storage of the article. Okay. So apart from this, the function of the Mendeley web, this one. Okay. You can click the related article. It means this article will search the article for you related article for you you click this one related okay it will give you a list of reference which is rele relevant to your search you see all article about social commerce uh, social network social commerce everything okay this is the thing and also you click this article you can click related also so it means it will uh, accelerate your search or your searching strategy. Okay, you can quickly get the materials. Okay, so Mendeley is not only for the reference; it's also for the literature search. Okay, whether you want to read or not, it's uh, up to you. Sometimes you just view only, never read. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mati, I will uh, I also put it in my notes that later maybe we have another workshop about searching through Mendeley, a comprehensive uh, I mean session. It will be very interesting for all the participants later. Okay, but I cannot, I, I can't, uh, not I can't, I mean I'm not able to cover everything today, okay, because my focus yeah. is Mendeley. So that's why I just put it for the next workshop 
in the near future. Okay, good, good. Okay, this one, uh, apart from that, you can add to library here. Add to library mean it will move to your Mendeley. You click add to library. This article automatically will be in my Mendeley. Okay. You see, the driving forces of Facebook social commerce has been included without document because it won't, it will not uh, import the document. Okay, only the information. Okay, and also my library has been updated. When I click my library, everything in my library as well. So you see, the driving forces, the latest article that I add just now, it it has been included in my library. So basically, I can cover about Mendeley from the organizing the article until the uh, references. And my most important advice is, however, okay, whatever is it, okay, you should understand api style don't blindly cite and without knowing the what is api style you just blind and don't blame the mendeley very pity mendeley mendeley is just a machine okay so you should create a correct library okay correct library then only you cite don't simply cite as it is okay but don't worry most of the article that you downloaded from science direct mrl should be okay everything perfect okay information perfect okay. okay i think i should stop right now and maybe i can answer the questions if any questions yeah thank you so much uh, any questions that uh, from participants last questions that we can ask from dr mati i have one uh, maybe i can answer this question very interesting question <laughs> yeah how do we know that it is wrong biblio when we are not as expert as you know <laughs> how do you identify that is wrong any tips okay the tips is when you read the article when you keep on looking for the references everything will be in your mind you know the moment you look at the reference you know already for example the common mistake is okay the common mistake is the title uh, sometimes you know the reference without the volume without the page number sometimes you know um, the article name okay article name is not complete the moment you look at that that is wrong wrongly cited or wrongly important and also the style okay the style when you cite the conference proceeding paper and the journal paper there is a slight different you know sometimes you know you put the uh, issue volume number for the conference. Normally, conference there is no volume, there is no issue. Very rare, you know. They have a volume and the issue. Journal definitely with the issue and the volume. Most of the journal, okay. So the moment you look at, you know already that's wrong, okay. And sometimes you know when you look at the name, eh, uh, it will cite full name. For example, maybe the name is Ama Raslan bin, uh, sorry, Ama Raslan bin uh, Muhammad Ali. In the citation, they put according to Amar Raslan, Momar Ali. That is wrong. Normally, it won't be like that. Okay. Normally, according to Amar Raslan only. Okay. Not the full name. Okay. That's the way. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to ask why literature. Oh, this is a very technical question. I would like to ask why literature search option has been removed from the latest handling. Um, I asked this question to the LCVR. I sent email to them. Already one month, they did not reply my email. I asked the same question. Why literature search function has been removed? Okay, literature search function, it's going to be like this, you know. Very interesting one. Okay. In my last session, I put everything. But this session, uh, 
<clears throat> okay, this is the function of the literature search. Okay, there is one button in you know, all literature search. When you search the literature, you can directly see all the articles from you know from the literature search, but not the full documents. Okay, it's going to be ah, okay. This is a literature search. When you type, then you can search like this. You know, you can put the title, year, and you can you can filter and filter and filter, and it will indicate. You know, then you know. Oh, for this title. Uh, from 2016 17 only 43 documents it will give you a quick view about the literature unfortunately this function has been removed and also another function has been removed which is manually suggest manually suggest is a when you upload an article the next day the system will provide many articles for you based on your record artificial intelligence now it has been removed and also the sharing function and also related function has been removed these three functions are very very good function but it has been removed sorry brother i know uh, i have emailed to them but they did not reply lcva did not reply i don't know why okay thank you i think i managed to answer many questions yeah and i think we just answered that we can be used mentally for literature review for sure we can, I mean, that what the one of the participants can be used mentally for literature review. So I think the purpose is for literature review mostly. Um, literature review for what? What purpose? Uh, I, for me, also not clear. You mean uh, you want to go for the bibliometric analysis? Mm. Is it for this is the question? This is the question from Muhammad Sharofi. Facebook or oh, no here in our Webex. Um, oh, how do we know that is wrong? Oh no, no. This is good. Doctor, can you repeat? Is it good? Uh, time eleven nineteen. Eleven nineteen, eh? Eleven nineteen. Eleven nineteen. Can we use Mendeley for literature review? Uh, that is the question. <laughs> this is okay. the question. <laughs> uh, of course, literature review is forever, you know, from chapter one to five. We search the literature uh, by using Mendeley. Are you asking about bibliography analysis? Okay, maybe you can uh, text to me. You can get the number, my number from Dr. Zaha. Uh, you can text to me, okay? WhatsApp to me, okay? Okay. If any question missed out, you can WhatsApp to me, then I can answer the questions through WhatsApp, okay? Um, thank you, Dr. Zaha. Thank you, Dr. Mati, for your very fruitful session. I am sure that all of us uh, have learned many things from this session. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Sabaria, Prof. Azza, anything you want to add? I think it's now more than uh, the session is. Uh, yeah, we have, yeah. Actually, it's just nice because the uh, program was started around 10.10, 10, I think. That's five yeah. minutes extra. Yeah, very, very, very good information, Automati. Learn a lot from you. Thank you very much. Good. Welcome, Doctor. Yeah, but I have your number. I'll text you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.